Well, Skip, we've seen these type of performances from James Harden before. Against your San Antonio Spurs, uh, without Kawhi Leonard and Tony Parker, mm -hmm. he took, he was two of 11. He took two shots in the first half. That, that was a closeout game six at Houston. At Houston. Yes, okay, you. what about two for 11 mm -hmm. with 12 turnovers in game five mm -hmm. in an elimination game in 2015? We've never seen a superstar of James Harden ilk have a bigger decline from regular season to postseason on a consistent basis. Now, we've seen superstars not come up big in the postseason compared to the regular season, mm -hmm. but nothing like this on a consistent yeah. basis. He's never been the James Harden postseason like he's been James Harden the regular season, and he's had some epic regular seasons, mm -hmm. 36 points a game, 34 points a game, 32 points a game in a season, but come playoff time, for whatever reason, he's never been that guy. And his best chance to get there was when Chris Paul was with him and Chris Paul got injured. Yeah. And then the next year, for whatever reason, they fell completely out and Chris Paul was gone. Mm. But, this, Skip, at some point in time, we're going to have to accept this is who James Harden is in the postseason. Mm -hmm. We keep trying to find excuses and try to find, well, what happened? What happened? How many times do you ask what's happened when you've seen it over and over from before you realize what's happening is going to continue to happen because this is who the guy is? And what's, what's so sad about it is that we're going to talk about James Harden and we're going to let Joel Embiid skate. Mm -hmm. Joel Embiid was off for the last two games. He was. Well, at least he's got some excuses. <laughs> I, I'm going to give him two valid excuses. Maybe three with the back. Okay. But, Skip, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I can't explain it. And then, for me, what, what really rubbed me the wrong way, Skip, is that this man got up there. And they asked him what transpired in the second half. He said, well, you know, I passed the ball and I didn't get it back. Didn't get it back. Mm. Really, James Harden? Mm. You the point guard! At some point in time, Skip, Tyrese Maxey... Tyrese Maxey was really... Without, if you take Joel Embiid, Tyrese Maxey was their best player. You cannot win with Tyrese Maxey as your best player. He's a, he's a good player, and he's getting better and better by the year. Mm -hmm. But he was their best player. That can't happen. Mm. Tobias Harris, we're going to let him skate because James Harden was such a... I don't, I don't even think James was a disappointment. Because, Skip, you can't get disappointed if the expectations are, well, damn, we've seen James Harden do this before. How do you I agree. Get, how, how do you have expectations when you've seen the person do it? It seems to me yep. you'd be more disappointed yep. if, the guy didn't, if the guy did something you didn't expect. Mm -hmm. This is who he is now, Skip. And at yep. some point in time, James Harden will say, you know what? You've done it your way, James. With the access that you have, I saw James Harden is like he's the top five with money, uh, uh, endorsement, skip and, and 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 salary, so he can have a full time chef, he can have a full time trainer if he so desires. At some point in time, when them rappers and entertainers you hanging with and they hanging out to five or six, they can sleep all day. They get to do this till they're fifty. Snoop still performing. 50, Snoop about to be fifty. Mm. LL can get on the stage. I see a lot of these groups, Skip, these guys in their 50s and 60s. You realize James Harden as an athlete, you don't have that kind of shelf life? Mm. Bro, get your butt in the gym and stop hanging out in the club and stop trying to do it both ends of the... at both end, burn both ends of the candles. Because it's, ha it's... You see it, Skip, that's what happens. And it's... And I hate to say this, but he's almost like a guy like Iverson mm. that did not take care of himself in the offseason and didn't train properly. Yep. And when it happens, Skip, when that... Hey, when that snowball's on the hill and you push it... Mm. It's gone. Mm. And we see this thing, we've seen James Harden decline so quickly. Mm. I mean, that step back, <laughs> he need to throw that thing in the trash. He can't get by people. I mean, he tried like five times to get by Oladipo. Even after Oladipo reached, he couldn't teach him. Mm -mm. Skip, it was bad last night. And like I said, we're going to let some other guys off the hook because James Harden looked so mm -hmm. trash last night. Yep. But, Skip, I'm, 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 I'm done with it. Mm. I thought this was going to be, you know, Jay going to be motivated. Mm. Ooh, ooh. Skip, he looked so disinterested last night. I, I, Skip, I don't like to say people because it's, 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 a, it's a closeout game. And I don't want to, you know, put that tag on that man. But, Skip, yep. it's hard for me to, someone to convince me that James Harden gave a damn about that game last night. Mm -hmm. <sighs> By the way, one quick, if you'll allow white music reference, <laughs> you realize Mick Jagger still owns the stage yes! at 75 or whatever. Yes, okay, the stone. Right. Yes, thank you. <laughs> all right. Back to James Harden. As the night progressed last night, I got bombarded with texts from lots of people, friends of mine in my little inner circle, some of whom you know. <laughs> Can you believe James Harden? What is wrong with him? 
with suggestions of there must be something going on off the court with him. I kept replying. I, I should have had just one all reply, you know, one, one standard reply. How are you surprised by this? Because <laughs> I've been saying this on this show now for several years. Right. Because I'm going to remind you, a year ago, he got the ultimate injury excuse in games six and seven against the soon-to-be champion Milwaukee Bucks yep. when he was a net alongside Kevin Durant, who was putting up masterpiece performances. And it went all the way to game seven. And in game six and seven, he shot five of 18 from three. And we kept saying, yeah, but his hamstrings pulled. Right. His hamstrings pulled. His hamstrings pulled. He's pulled. He's washed. <laughs> he's, he's defunct. He fell off the cliff. Right. And I'm going to have to call you on one point before we proceed. Yeah. You did love this trade. I did. Okay. Because I said, Skip, you know how uh, uh, motivated old skinny James going to get? You know, now he looks like just another Jim Harden. He's just <laughs> some guy named Jim. That, that's what he looks like to me. Because but before I proceed, I, I just one, one play stuck in my mind in my crawl last night where I just sat back and I said, that's it right there. Washed. And it came with about 10 minutes left in the game, and they were about to be cooked anyway. But this is all he gets the switch on to Bam. The ball goes back to him. That's the way you, oh, that's all the depot. That's all the depot oh, oh, right this, there sitting in the chair. This, this, oh, I'm sorry. This is all the depot. Yeah, that's right, all the depot right. sitting in the it. chair on him. This is it. This is it. Bam got the ball. Yeah, Bam he got tried, the ball. Okay. He tried to go behind his and, back. And then he gets the it was Allie supposed was to be a lob dunk, but he barely made it. But the point is. He's trying, he's trying, he's trying. He's, he just can't get a step on him. Nope. There's no crossover step. There's no behind the back step. There's no this or that step. Th there was a day, there was a time when, when you sat in that chair and I sat in this chair back in 2018, 2019. Yes. Where we, we were rhapsodizing about James Harden has revolutionized basketball right. from the perimeter. We, we both agreed he was the most unstoppable perimeter weapon we yeah. had ever seen. Yeah. Because you, w w what can you do? He, he steps Step back, back on you and just strokes the three like it's a free throw. And when he gets to the free throw line, he, he's 90%. Yeah, but there were, there were honest and serious yeah. discussions that he was a better offensive player than Jordan. Yeah. He was a better offensive player than Kobe because he had the... Like you said, Skip, he averaged like had like 20, 30 games where he had 30 points. He was getting 50 points, 60 points, tri damn near triple doubles. They're like, have you seen anything like this? No. He was so slithery into the lane. He could just slither through the lane. Yes. And the refs loved him, man. They, they just adored him because they were going to send him to the free throw line. And then he developed his, you know, up through move. <laughs> yeah. And he would just, he, yeah. he'd go shoot three free throws like crazy yes. on getting fouled on three point right. shots. It was a weapon unlike any we had seen, but it was a weapon without decorations, as in championship decorations, right. because it became clear and clear he was only regular season James. He was never postseason James. Right. And the deeper they got in the postseason, the more likely it was he would just flat out shrink and disappear. And it became clear he just wanted no part of the postseason because he does not care about winning. He cares about winning MVP, and he did. In 2018, yeah. he won it. He cares about being ranked in the NBA's all-time top 75, and he is, and most people have him around 30 or so up right. out of the 75. Right. He's good to go. He cares about making huge money, and he has in his career. He has made huge money, and he will continue to make huge money if he wants to opt in next year, he could become a free agent. Opt, uh, okay. we skipped opt, uh, the opt in is forty-seven million, yeah. or he could do what, for, what five at two fifty, two sixty. If they want to go there, yeah. Nah, which skip, you, not. Uh, yeah. No, nobody's going to do <laughs> that now. There. But but yet, even last night, if if you look at his final, what's his final stat line here? He had only eleven points, but he but he had nine assists, which led both teams in right. assists. So as just a pure point guard, just as an orchestrator, there's value there that somebody would pay. Not $50 him. million no, a year no, no, value. Not, not that. But and I'm Joel saying, Embiid summed it up. Okay, but, yeah, he said people keep expecting Houston James and that guy doesn't exist anymore. That's basically what Joel said. Yes. And, and that was about as honest as you can get yes. because that's the truth. He says now he's more of a playmaker, Maker. which was a euphemism for all he does is pass the basketball. Right. And, and he does... He, he is a gifted pass. I'm going to give him that because right. every once there, there were a couple of times last night where I said, wow, that was yes. really good, right? Yes. So he can do that, but it's really all he has left to do because all the rest of it left him. Right. So to your point, 
you want to talk about falling off the cliff. It, it reminds me in some ways of Russell West Brick, if I will, because Russell West Brook got exposed on the biggest stage. Well, James, un unfortunately for James, he exposed himself because of what he just did. He quit his way out of Houston to get to Brooklyn, Brooklyn. and all of a sudden we're saying, this is the greatest big three offensive firepower we've ever seen in the history of this league. Yes. Well, now, okay, James, look out. Be careful what you wish for. You just put yourself on the biggest stage you could have. And then he quits his way off that stage, in part because Kyrie wouldn't get vaccinated. Correct. And he goes back to Daryl Moore. He's reunited with Daryl Moore. And what's the quote from Moore? He, he spoke at that Sloan Sports Analytics Conference back in March after mm -hmm. he'd acquired, reacquired James. And here's Daryl Morey's quote. Obviously, he was his GM in Houston. Right. He said, I was lucky enough to get reunited with my basketball Jesus. My basketball yeah. Jesus. We know about Daryl Morey because of James Harden. Yeah. He made the trade. Okay. Skip, he made the trade. He got him off. Yeah, he, six a, okay. he took out a full-page ad when sure. they split up, right? right. Yes. And in, in the Houston paper, to yes. thank him for, for because he put Daryl Morey on the analytics map. Yes. Okay? So, basketball Jesus? I mean, I think he turned out to be a false god, <laughs> right? So, the, the, the point is, Daryl Morey acquires him, and it's such a huge story. He quit his way out of two two places in two years yeah. and wound up with, with Joel Embiid. Well, now, all of a sudden, it's just like Russell Westbrook is suddenly the starting point guard for the team he grew up living yes. for in yes. Los Angeles, yes. the Lakers. Yes. And all of a sudden, James is like, I was with the Brooklyn Nets, the greatest big three ever, and now I'm with Joel Embiid in Philadelphia, and we're going to go win the championship. Right. No, you're not. Right. Okay. I did not like the trade at all because I don't trust him in the postseason. So in the end, that's all I care about is what are you going to give me in the postseason? Well, I know what you're not going to give me because we don't have <laughs> enough show to go back through all the flameouts. And it started back in 2015 because they got to a close. It was a game five. The Warriors. It was Warriors. He set the all-time playoff record. He had 12 turnovers in one single basketball yeah. game. And that started... And he went two for 11 from the floor. Yeah, two for 11. And, and it just kept on keeping on. And then we get all the way up to his MVP year 2018 in the Western Conference Finals. And he had lost Chris Paul to, to, the, to the hamstring. But in games uh, six, and six and seven, he goes a combined six of 25 from three. Well, it's just a disappearing. At least he was trying to shoot right. there last night. He's just hiding. In yeah. the second half, he's like, I don't want any part of this. I see what's happening. Yep. He's got high IQ, I don't, obviously. I don't have it. I, I, I just know I'm going to stay out of the way. So when he says the ball never came back to him, it's because he didn't want the ball to right. come back. And then he had the audacity. You remember Houston James? Houston James would go get the ball. He would. Oh, did he? Well, that's how he <laughs> averaged whatever. What, 36, 36 what year? 36? 34, 32. God, I, I can't tell you how many regular season games I watched against my then San Antonio Spurs, yeah. the dynastic Spurs. They, they just couldn't stop him. He'd go for easy 40, and I'd say, yeah. how's he doing that? S double him, dude. No, they couldn't. They couldn't. They, they couldn't stop him because his bag was too deep. In some ways, it was deeper than Kyrie's bag. Maybe he didn't have all the whipped cream right, right. around the basket, but just on scoring the basketball, right. I, I'd never seen anything like it from the perimeter. Right. And neither had anybody else. Neither had Daryl Morey. But the point is... He never really cared about winning. It was not a passion of his. He's the flip side of all the, you know. Didn't look like he cared about training either. Well, well, we knew that from the start <laughs> because he just wanted to play his way into shape. That will work. You know this better than anybody. It will work until you turn 30. Yeah, it will work when you're younger. Yeah. You can eat whatever you want to. Skip my first through two or three years in the league. I ate fast food every meal. Absolutely. Kept body fat in the single digits. Yep. But as I started to get like 26, 27, like, oh. Uh-oh. What, what that? Yep. No, I, I, better, I better change the way I do things. Well, Skip, the guy, uh, James Harden's, what, 33? Two. 32. 32. Well, he looked like he's 42. He played I, like he's 42. I've been, I've been tweeting that. He's 32 going on 42. That's what he looked like last night. He he didn't have the little pot belly. He sort of ran that off just by playing I don't know, Skip, but he's still, no, still, he's still looking like bit. James Hardy's. Okay. All right. Well, that's fine, too. I, I, I'm i with you. But it's just dissipation. It's off yeah, the it's floor. It's just it's bad, you Skip. Know, he loves the nightlife. We know all the stories. And he does not live for basketball. 
He lives to, to love life. Okay, and, Skip, you want to do the nightlife. Well, what about yeah. train? What about if you train as hard you as you party? Do both. I, what I if agree. you ate? I mean, I, I, Skip, I understand they got five star chef in these places now. Yep. But get uh, bro, you could Skip, you're a professional athlete. Do you understand? what's expected and required of you? Because like you said, once you quit your way out of one situation and you go to another situ situation, the magnifying glass is going to tens intensify. Yep. So we're gonna be watching you in Brooklyn because you said you didn't have a chance to win in Houston. Now you go with Kyrie and KD. Okay, that situation, Kyrie, okay. Now you're like, no, nah, I don't wanna be here anymore. You go with Joel Embiid. At that point in time, when you linked up with Joel Embiid, he was the clear MVP front runner. Mm -hmm. You were supposed to accentuate what was already already there. Yep. And at no point in time were you better than Tyrese Maxey. Mm -mm. No, I kept saying, in fact, I kept tweeting this. It looks like Tyrese Maxey is more of a max player than yes. James Harden yes. is, right? Yes, They got a bunch of guys. They got, look, Joel Embiid is Joel Embiid. He's an MVP. He's going to be an MVP candidate. But Tobias Harris, that ain't no max player. James Harden, he, but if they give him, if they give him, skip this, the process. Now, think about it. The only piece of the process that's there is Joel B. Markel Fultz is gone. Ben Simmons is gone. And the guy that, the general manager that put the process in place, he's gone. Yep. So there is no more process. It's supposed to be complete. You're supposed to have been building something. Yep. I just don't know. Now, Skip, I, I thought they could do it. But I got a trade. You say the Lakers want to trade Plaskett. They want to trade on LeBron. We'll trade you James Harden for LeBron James. Put LeBron with Joel Embiid. Mm. <laughs> Put Braun with Joel and B. Well, you don't want James. Then you wouldn't. Yeah, I don't. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Yeah, there you go. Mm. Yeah, you like that trade? I don't think the Lakers will do. Why not? Mm. Look, Phil won't. Phil build around uh, uh, Russ and James. Mm. Even Phil would see James is washed. <laughs> Although he would use the old term of washed up. Uh, yeah. Somehow we lost the Can up. you imagine Braun and Joel? <laughs> no, I, I would agree for one year that would work. I think LeBron's got one big year left in him. We got two big years. Okay, maybe two. I, I might give you two if he the, the way he keeps him. He, LeBron is the flip side <laughs> in, in keeping himself fit to, to James. Correct. And the irony of this conversation is because I have spent so many nights in Philadelphia going to various games, basketball, <laughs> football, baseball. He is the opposite of what those fans oh, want. Oh, absolutely. You, you totally. could not get more polar opposite of what they would. What, what, all they ask is, come out and give me every last ounce you got. Care as much as we do. Yeah, care as much as we do, and he doesn't care. No, he it doesn't. doesn't matter to him. He's got his money, and he knows he's going to get a whole lot more money. Yep. Uh, he knows for a fact next year he's going to make $47.36 million. Right. That's a lot of money, man. Yeah. For w even if, if he just plays one more year. You, you think he's losing any sleep over this? I'd take a million of that and get me a personal trainer on a shelf. Well, there you go. That's right. what I would do. Okay. So, in, in the end, we, we both have agreed all along, somebody's going to have to pay for this, and it's going to be Doc Rivers. Yes. So, he will go. And then I'm reading in USA Today this morning, there are whispers around the league that James Harden is not healthy. Baloney, he's not healthy. Are we going to do this again? Yeah. Is he just, like, going to be career long, not healthy, right. it, there's always something with him. I give Joel injury passes because he had a fractured orbital bone and he needs surgery on his thumb. Yeah, and, he, he, torn and, and he was dealing with a back injury yep. uh, to, towards the end of the season. He's so, always dealing with a back injury. Yeah. Okay? But I, his passion was nil last night because I think he's looking at James like, wait a minute, now I'm stuck with him? Well, Skip, here's the thing. You, have, you, you see a guy around the league and you see what he's doing, and you hear what he's doing, and now all of a sudden you get said player. He's like, okay, let me let me see. And, and? Let, let me let me let me see one of those forty point. Let me see yep. one of those fifty point performances yep. that I heard so many in the ones you've gotten against us. And then you get said player. It's giving like you go to the Pro Bowl. I, you know, you're like, okay, let me see what you got. Let me, we watching practice. You know, we watching practice. I'm like, okay, let me see. Okay, I can see it. Yeah. Uh. They, he looking at James Harden like, I thought you was supposed to. Tyrese Maxey better than you. Yeah, Tyrese. And, and listen, Tyrese Maxey in the fourth quarter played his tail he, off. He was diving in the stands. Skip, you remember he he tried to pass James Harden the ball, and James the ball hit James Harden in the back. <laughs> they, they scoop it up and go lay it up, and then James Harden get the ball stole, and then I think it's Bam. Bam gets it. James takes like two steps. No, I can't get it. Mm. 
Just like when you said he had the, he had the fast break, I think it was against Milwaukee, and he walks it out. Walks it was it like, out. last night, Skip, he took two... Now, I, I, I'll get it next time. I, I, like I said, Skip, I don't want to say somebody quit, I, but it, it's hard for me to come to his defense and say James Harden played his ass hey, off last but, night. But the truth and he is, cared. J James quit a long time ago. That's the God's <laughs> truth, really. You, you it's not a game situation, it's a career situation. Yeah, well, Skip, once you start quitting, you know you'll quit again, right? Yeah. He we quit in Houston now, uh, and I he quit He he quit in, in, uh, in Brooklyn. He did. And it seemed like he quit on the field, on the Sixers last night. Yep. Last quick point on the positive side. I did pick the Heat to win it all because of Jimmy Butler. Yeah. You have never loved him in the regular season, and I keep telling you he turns into a postseason superstar. superstar. No question about playoff it. Playoff Jimmy. And Spolstra just raved about him after the game, one of the all-time great competitors on yeah. both ends of the floor that you'll ever see. And Jimmy Butler obviously used to be a sixer, but he says he has found a heaven of a home in Miami because they let him be himself because he's difficult to deal yes. with, but they let him be him, be he, and th th they just say, do what you have to do. Pat Riley told him, do whatever you have to do to get us home, right. and that's what he keeps doing. Mm -hmm. So well, here we go. It's probably well, he, going he, to be uh, Heat Bucks. He probably he thought he was going to be a sixer. But they said Tobias Harris, and yeah. it, he said it walking to the locker room. Oh, I know. Tobias, Tobias Harris, Harris over me? Really? Huh, interesting. Uh, another mistake. They, they regret that decision. I would say. And, I mean, Joel and B love playing with him. You hear they speak glowingly of each other. Congrats to Butler in the Heat. Go ahead, Jen. Congrats Sorry. to Butler in the Heat. We'll see who they face. Bucks or Celtics, that'll be a fun one to watch. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.